Welcome to the NCAA South Central Region quarterfinal postgame press conference. Joining us now are members of MSU Denver Roadrunners uh, who win tonight, 3-1 victory over Texas A&M Kingsville. Congratulations. We're going to be joined uh, here by Delaney Eckhart, setter for MSU Denver, also Riley Anderson, and in the middle is head coach Jenny Glenn. We'll start with you, Coach Glenn. Uh, you get a uh, opening round win, very impressive. Kingsville grabbed one set, but your team really looked confident. You looked in control throughout this match. Yeah, that was it. You know, we're playing a Lone Star team. We haven't played a Lone Star team in the first round for a little while, so it was nice to have a different opponent across the net than RMAC. It took us a little time to dial them in a little bit. Their, their style is different than what we normally see, but I was proud of my team. We kind of stuck in it when it wasn't even going super well for us, but I thought we shot, showed a lot of composure and end game to finish off sets, even in the set we lost, made a good run at the end of that, and then we're able to kind of get some space in that fourth set, but what a battle. Um, I mean, they didn't give in, they were, they yeah. extended rallies. It you know, felt like a five setter for sure tonight, but I'm um, happy to finish in four. Riley, we'll start with you. Uh, you look at your box score tonight, 15 kills, uh, did a really nice job, some good defense as well. And that's what I want to kind of ask you about is the team's defense. It, it, to me, it felt like as the match went on, it was your defense that kind of sparked you guys, started shutting down Kingsville a little bit more and closed the deal. Yeah, I agree. I think our defense improved and we got a lot more scrappy and we were going after balls that we weren't in the beginning of the game. So I think it was definitely a switch that we flipped, which was really good for us. All right, uh, Delaney, talk about uh, this team, the confidence that you have. You, you've obviously played in a lot of big matches, and you have that postseason uh, experience. You come a different venue this year. You guys have hosted the last couple of years. Uh, but tonight, you kind of made this, this venue feel like your home turf. Yeah, I think it's exciting to be here. You know, we talk about not playing Lone Star Conference teams um, other than later in, the conf or later in the tournament. So I think it was fun to play one right off the bat. And then also, like, coming in, doing visualization, and coming in to make this our home, to make it feel like a home away from home was really good for us, so. Um, I guess for both the, I guess for everybody, uh, we dropped the, dropped the third set, um, and then we came out and got on top right away in the fourth set. We just, what happened there, flip switch, or just uh, find something to, to concentrate on, or maybe some encouragement from Coach Glenn? I think. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. I think that for me. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we just decided to clean up all of our plays a little bit. And so like finishing that ball to target, those easy balls to target and lifting first contact, which made it feel a lot easier and in rhythm on our side. Yeah. I also think we were a lot more aggressive. We weren't passive in the fourth set. We went in with confidence and were able to take big swings and know that our teammates had our backs. So. Yeah, I think that's what we talked about a little bit. One, have fun again, because I think we lost that in the third set. Um, but then we were making the game hard on ourselves by not finishing our pass, like Riley's talking about, by you know not putting ourselves in the box on easy balls or letting free ball score, those kinds of things. So I thought once we cleaned those pieces of our game up, it felt easier. We felt a little more in rhythm. And um, so Regis loses b before us. Um, what's, what's that do to kind of, you know, because maybe alter the mindset says, hey, this is this is another good Lone Star team that we're playing that you know, maybe, maybe we were overlooking or anything like that? Well, yeah, it definitely changes my evening, I'll tell you that. Because <laughs> we, we, we knew Regis really well. You know, it would have been our fourth time playing them. We have a pretty good scout on them. Um, but, you know, we've watched Angelo a little bit. They did a nice job. I thought they, you know, had their backs against the wall and turned it around and, and really battled to win that match. So I think we'll have our hands full tomorrow night and we'll need to be prepared We'll need to play a little cleaner than we did tonight. Um, our hitting percentage was a little low for us. Um, I think that was a, a combination of them playing some scrappy defense and us making some uncharacteristic errors. Uh, the serve game was, was good. Delaney had four aces. Uh, just talk about uh, how well we served today. Yeah, serving is one of the things that helps us get some separation. <laughs> we weren't getting that set serve and block, right? So in those first few sets, it was point for point. We were running out of subs. We needed runs. I think it was in the fourth set or third set. I don't know when I said it. But I, was, I actually told Delaney, get a run. We need a run here. Like, we're going to run out of subs. Can you score some points? And she went back and I think rattled off four. So I learned my lesson there. I just need to tell her to go on a run. But, um, yeah, I think this when our serve is on, it, it, it helps us with a little bit of breathing room. I thought we did a pretty good job tonight, um, and we definitely had it in runs. Yeah, Delaney, Delaney what's what's serve, serving mean, mean for us? It's huge. I think the confidence to go back there and know that there's a block in front of you as well, that 
it's not the ball's not going to get around them as well. So we're a really aggressive serving team, and we pass against each other all the time. So I think it's it boosts our confidence going in. Just to touch on that block, you outblocked uh, Kingsville 15 to six, and y'all really came alive in that really that third and fourth set. You really shut them down. What were some of those adjustments that you guys talked about as the match went on for your block? Yeah, we were, well, we knew kind of from scout what each attacker was going to go for. Um, and then it was just the execution piece or in long rallies, remembering to stay inside against certain attackers. So I thought we went in and out of executing the game plan well tonight. And when we executed it, we usually got the block. Um, I think at the end of long rallies, they were hitting a little bit lower, which helps some of that as well. But um, that tends to be a strength for us. And so when we, you know, blocks are momentum changers, and when we are getting them, we feel pretty confident. So I thought, you know, Caden, my assistant, does a lot of the defensive side of things, and he was making good adjustments throughout the course of the match. And they were changing which shots they were trying to attack on us, and I think we were a step ahead a couple times that allowed us to get a couple turnbacks. I'd agree. Y'all's, y'all's adjustments were really well made, and y'all really turned a corner, um, especially in that fourth set, how y'all just kind of went away with the set. Uh, was there any talk with the players on the court going to that fourth set before it even started you know hey you come down from that that loss in the third set but what's that bounce back what is what are the players talking about in that moment what were y'all talking about yeah i think one of the biggest thing was things was being aggressive we said that we got a little passive at the end and then they got a run on us so it was starting aggressive and then also from the service line attacking i agree i also think like from the sorry <laughs> I, I also think from like the serve receive lanes and pushing up that first mm-hmm. ball so that we can run our offense with speed and it'll be effective for us Delaney Riley coach Glenn congratulations a very impressive 3-1 win and you got a semifinal date with Angelo State tomorrow congratulations thank you, thank you.